We are a billion dollar plus industry. We're in every single market, interview process, how to manage everything, and most importantly, how to continue to move forward. There is actually a lot of different ways that you can find clients. Do whatever you can to finish strong. Please don't forget to support a fellow recruiter. Give us a like, subscribe, click that bell. Really, really means a lot. Let's get started. In recruiting, there is actually a lot of different ways that you can find clients. Here are some of my favorite ways I like to find clients. Number one, common sense. Use your own network. It's not about who your friends or colleagues know, it's about who they know. Dig deep and don't be afraid to ask for referrals or introductions. Second thing, online and offline tools and forums and events. Be resourceful, whatever niche that you're in, try to be active in as many Reddit threads, community forums, and groups as much as you can. With respect to offline, try to make an effort to go out and go to events and meetups, networking, industry presentations. It's such a really great way to meet really great professionals, but most importantly, hire managers or even founders. The third thing is references. So a lot of times, especially on the agency side, we do references on behalf of our candidates. When you talk to references, you're also speaking with other founders, other directors, other leadership. It's an amazing opportunity to start cultivating relationships from these calls to hopefully maybe plant that seed to become a recruiting client down the line. The next is obviously old school. Yes, it's much harder to cold call today, but it still works. It's all about consistency, going after the right people, making sure that the position is still open and being super targeted and focused in terms of like your intro, your narrative and your elevator pitch. The next, job board. It's really easy to find companies that are actively hiring. In this market, it's very easy in 2022 to be like, wow, layoffs are happening. Are there any companies that are still hiring? Well, the job market is still relatively healthy. Go to Indeed, go to Monster, go to LinkedIn, and you'll find a ton of companies that are still hiring. And so these have active need for hopefully recruiting partners like us. Uh, last but not least, resumes. You're talking to candidates all the time. And if you are running low on trying to find new companies to target, you're talking to hopefully a lot of candidates every single day, every single week. Look through the resume because that could also be an amazing source of research to find new companies potentially that you can reach out to. And then once you find a new companies, you can then use tools like Sales Navigator, Recruiter, et cetera, to then find the hiring managers. And then you can go out them and do a really great personalized introduction. So when it comes to being a recruiter in the agency world, there is always tons of opportunity for you to develop relationships. That's the key. It's all about developing relationships and trying to be personalized as much as possible and be crystal clear on your value prop when you reach out to new people. And then I guess a bonus tip is make sure that when you're just out and about, always be proud of being a recruiter. Talk openly how you love to help candidates, how you love to help clients. Who knows who that person might be at the bar, at the library, at the coffee store. They might be a founder, they might be a hiring manager who's been struggling to fill a position or many. Perhaps the next biggest lead could be the person you're sitting right next to on the bus or the subway. So make sure that you put yourself out there. We're all about meeting people, developing relationships, be proud of who you are as a recruiter, own it, because we're here to provide value as best as we can. All right, so one of my biggest suggestions when it comes to interview process, how to manage everything, and most importantly, how to make it continue to move forward, is always make it about the candidate. I hope that if you are a recruiter right now, you are a seasoned recruiter, or you just started out, the biggest thing for me is making sure the candidate has just a positive experience. I want to make sure that regardless of whether or not my candidate gets the job, I want them ideally to be able to walk away from the experience to be happy and positive from that experience as much as possible because that can only help you and your other client, your hiring managers, just look great. And it's a win-win for everybody and there's no burnt bridges and no drama. And so one of the favorite things I like to do when it comes to helping candidates move forward is just constantly remind your client, your hiring manager about the candidate and the candidate experience. No company wants to start interviewing people and start leaving people behind or leave them in limbo because the longer that they wait, the worse their experience is and companies don't want to really have that risk of candidates go out there and complain and talk really badly about them on sites like Glassdoor or Reddit or Anonymous, right? So 
So it's a win-win. We all want the candidate to go through. The candidate wants to get interviewed. Us recruiters want our candidates to get interviewed in a timely manner. And it only makes sense for the hiring manager to make a little effort to be timely with the feedback and timely when it comes to letting us know exactly what the next steps are. And you constantly move that forward. So if an interview happens, you want to follow up with the hiring manager. Like, hey, how'd it go? Please let us know as soon as possible if it's a yay or nay. And if it's yay, what please advise on next steps and hope that you've already established this during your intake kickoff call with them. And then just rinse and repeat, first round, second round, third round, fourth round, and just keep reminding uh, the client, especially if you feel like a day went by, two days, three days went by, and you haven't heard from them, always make it about the candidate experience because at the end of the day, the client can't get mad at you. They just have themselves to blame if the candidate doesn't have a good experience, especially if we are doing the best that we can when it comes to systematically going back and reminding the client, hey, it's important for us to get back to our candidates so that we can let them know exactly what the next steps are so that they can maintain a really healthy, positive experience. As important as it is to start strong and work, start the week off strong, start the month off strong, it's also, in my opinion, to also do whatever you can to finish strong. The stronger that you can finish the week, the stronger you can finish the month, not only when it comes to work, hit your goals, but also include planning for the next day, the next week, and next month, next year, and the better that you can start the next chapter with momentum instead of starting from scratch, uh, losing speed, losing momentum, and then to pick it back up uh, midweek, mid-month, and mid-year, which you obviously don't wanna do. So as much as it is to start strong, start the week off strong, I think it's also important to make that extra effort to end the week off strong as a lot of people are, are starting to take off the gas end of the year end of the month end of the week i like to do just whatever i can to kind of keep it going and finish as much as i can because naturally if all the other recruiters out there are starting to work less at the end of the week i want to be able to continue to work as hard as i can to reach that extra client to reach the extra company because there's much less competition same thing with the end of the year while a lot of people are traveling taking two three four weeks off i'm here doing whatever i can to just end the week off strong as simple as it sounds just doing that compound and consistently over time can provide a significant advantage long term and that's just something that i always held myself to in terms of the standards and goals that i strive for and it's just honestly helped me just have that extra edge compared to many other recruiters out there, allowing me to continue to provide as much value and results to both my candidates and clients. But it's been one hell of a year and I've been so blessed and grateful. Thank you to every single one of you that reached out for great vibes, the great advice, the great questions. We are a billion dollar plus industry. We're in every single market. Please reach out, whether it's to collab, to partner, to split, see if you have any questions. Love helping whenever I can. Um, I understand that my time is limited. Uh, feel free Free still to reach out on LinkedIn, Instagram, Discord, uh, here on YouTube as well. Um, always great to meet other great professionals who are in the talent space, other founders, other people who are fast about recruiting or tech, and just want to play a small role in providing value and entertainment to you all. So but I appreciate you all, and I'll see you either next week or in a brand new year. Thank you again, and see you soon.